I'm Tyler Young, a Dell Certified Sales Engineer here at XPy Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a high-level comparison of the MX740C and the MX750C. Let's get started. First, let's begin with the blades themselves. Both the MX740C and the MX750C are single-width blade servers designed for Dell's 7U PowerEdge MX7000 chassis. You can actually fit up to 8 of these blades in a single chassis. You have the option to populate the MX7000 with all MX740Cs, all MX750Cs, or if you choose to, you can actually mix and match them as well. This would make sense if you already have an MX7000 chassis with MX740C blades and you wanted to scale out with additional blades. Or you can always rip out the MX740C and replace them with the MX750C. Taking a look at the front of the blades, you'll notice that both the blades are capable of holding up to 6 2.5 inch drives. Although there isn't a 3.5 inch option for these blades, both the MX740C and the MX750C have the ability to utilize SAS, SATA, or NVMe drives. Moving on to the fans, you'll notice that there aren't any. Rather than the fans needing to be in the blade servers themselves, the fans actually sit within the MX7000 chassis and generate powerful yet efficient airflow throughout all eight blades from front to back. And they're still hot swappable. Next, let's take a look at the processors. You can't see them now as they're covered by these heat sinks, but hold them up side by side and they pretty much look the same. Now, while both the MX740C and the MX750C are both dual socket systems, what's different about them is within the technology themselves. The MX740C supports Intel second gen Cascade Lake processors with core counts ranging from four to 28 cores. The MX750C, on the other hand, is able to take advantage of Intel's newest third-gen Ice Lake processors. These have the ability to scale of up to 40 cores per socket. 40 cores! That's up to 80 cores total in a single blade. That's insane! In another video, you'll see me deep dive into the advances between these two chipsets. But the key takeaway that I want you to get out of this is that this MX750C in the entire 15th gen PowerEdge portfolio allows you to dramatically increase the potential workload on a given server. In the same area as the processors, you'll notice the memory modules. While both servers utilize the same DDR4 memory and support RDIMMs, LRDIMMs, and Optane memory, there are a few differences. The MX740C can populate up to 24 DIMMs and is limited to speeds of up to 2933 megatransfers per second. The MX750C slightly raises the bar by supporting up to 32 DIMMs with speeds of up to 3200 megatransfers per second. Taking a look at the PCIe lanes, the MX740C has two Gen 3 by 16 mesh slots for fabrics A and B, and one Gen 3 mini mesh slot for fabric C. I do want to point out that the mesh slots on the MX750C are now Gen 4, with double the throughput compared to its Gen 3 predecessor. Looking back towards the front of the server, you'll notice this card sitting upright next to these dims. That's the boss card. Speaking of BOSS cards, both the MX740C and the MX750C utilize the BOSS S1. Or if you prefer, you could also use the IDSDM instead. On the outer end of this BOSS card, you'll have the perk slot. In both these configurations, we currently have a RAID controller installed, but you could also swap those out for a host bus adapter if needed. Neither the MX740C or the MX750C are GPU compatible. So if you require a GPU for your workload, feel free to reach out to one of our Dell certified engineers and we can see what's right for you. As far as workloads go, both the MX740C and the MX750C play towards the MX7000's kinetic infrastructure, allowing you to expand as you need with utmost performance. This solution is perfect for just about any virtualized workload, software-defined storage, or even database analytics. So that sums up my high-level comparison of the MX740C and the MX750C. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions or to speak to one of our Dell certified engineers, see the content information below. To see more videos like this, check out our channel, and as always, please don't forget to subscribe.